What's up, lads? It's your boy. Channel that's dying, it'll never recover here. Today, we got an epic Y Schwartz Blau unboxing for you, lads. Now, some of y'all might be wondering, what even is Y Schwartz Blau? Well, chat. Y Schwartz, as you know, is an epic card game created by Bushi Road Entertainment. Y Schwartz Blau is a rebranding of Y Schwartz that's targeted as a more casual audience. Casual audience and collectors. That's right, apparently the long paragraphs of card effect text is just way too insane for us casual lads. So Bushiroad says, we got you fam. We got a nice casual card game for us. Now, Y Schwartz and Y Schwartz Blah, apparently they play like exactly the same. Like the rules are exactly the same. Really the only difference is like the card layout, like the, the UI of the card, so to speak. And also the effects are very much toned down. There won't be any epic card effects like the best post from Chainsaw Man. There's none of that here. Just simple card effects. Effects. Seeing as Bushiro felt the need to rebrand Rai Schwartz for a casual audience, I also suddenly feel the need to rebrand for a more casual audience as well. What up lads, Brandman Blau here. That's right, today's all about the lads. We got a box of Disney's Twisted Wonderland. So we love this. See all these other why Schwartz waifus right here? We, we don't need that crap. Get get that out of here. Except except you. You you stay. You stay. You stay. All this other crap. Get that sh out of here. We don't need that today, lads. It's all about the boys. Disney's Twisted Wonderland is a mobile game. I don't care to buck with y'all. I don't know much about it. I know at least the illustrations and character designs are made by the same lad who did Black Butler, and it sure looks like it. I played through a little bit of the mobile game just to kind of get an idea of what the story is. It's basically like a self-insert light novel uh, with the harem of amazing anime boys. You're basically a lad who goes to a wizarding school where all the characters are loosely based off Disney villains. Also, it seems to be an all-boys school, which we love. It's very Harry Potter-esque. We're playing Harry Potter! <laughs> it even has different houses or factions divided into different Disney villains. Like this lad right here is obviously supposed to be based off Scar from The Lion King. Um, the main boy over here is obviously supposed to be Maleficent. A lot of the other guys, I have no idea what they're supposed to be. Um, and there's more people than this, but we'll check it out regardless just to kind of see. Oh, so I'm gonna take off this getup because it's like a million degrees outside. And I think this gag has run its course. We get it. Why Schwartz Blau is basically just a reskin of Why Schwartz. I hope we poke me fun at this, guys, but I do genuinely think the artwork is really, really cool. Even though I don't know much about Disney's Twisted Wonderland, if this was in regular Why Schwartz, I would 100% rock a deck that looks like this at locals. The reason why you can't run a Why Schwartz Blau deck at a Why Schwartz tournament is because, well, one, it's a different game, and two, the power level of a Why Schwartz Blau deck is much weaker than your standard Y Schwartz deck. If you were to try and compete with this, uh, you would probably get stuck. And I do think the cards look great, so let's kind of open it up and see what we get. Maybe get some nice signed cards. I don't know if there are signed cards in Y Schwartz Blau or even in this set. Y Schwartz Blau. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten packs. Now, like I said, I'm not too familiar with the IP itself. And Y Schwartz Blau is only in Japanese, so I can't cheat and pretend like I know the character just by reading the card. So I won't be able to do that. However, I will try and look up the characters that I think are really cool. Oh, and this is fun. Just like the um, other Disney sets, the back of the Y Schwartz Blau Disney cards are different than the standard back. I actually have right here some Y Schwartz Blau sleeves. And and this is basically how Y Schwartz cards look on the back. And I guess that means they really don't want you to mix the cards with this, guys. Neo standard only. Oh, this card's in English. Emblem of Ignehide. We got our first shiny here. Looking it up, I want to say this character is Jamil Viper from the Scarabia dorm, which is like the dorm that's dedicated to Aladdin. Very cool card to see. Another lad here. I believe this one is also from Ignahide, which is twisted from Hercules. I guess this is like this is supposed to be the anime Hades. I might be wrong on that. I'm not really sure what the deal is, but it looks cool nonetheless. We got the Maleficent boy over here. I don't I don't think his name is actually Maleficent, but you can see Trey Clover. OK, this is like a weird card. There's no like effect or text. And oh, 
on the other side it's a normal card we got the birthday boy over here <laughs> i want to take a quick look at the ui as well you can see the soul icon how much soul this guy is is much bigger i feel like in like a standard y schwartz card the soul trigger is really really tiny and whenever i try to teach new players how to play y schwartz they're always like w w how do you know it's one soul where do you see the soul <laughs> icon <laughs> it's really really tiny um, and it's like it's unless you know to look out for it you're not gonna see it so i like how in these cards the soul icons are much larger that's actually really cool guess that counts as a shiny another birthday boy is this like is, is this the theme of this set it says everyone's birthday right now or is this like the birthday of the franchise maybe we are another lad we got scar over here it's his birthday as well Oh, for the CX card, we got a hot stamp. I really, okay, I played through the mobile game a little bit and I really, this guy is like my favorite character. Let me look up his name real quick. This boy's name is Lilia Van Rogue. And I just, I love his hair. I want hair like that. That looks so amazing. I wonder if that's even possible to do in real life. But this guy is like the coolest. He's also one of the oldest students there, which is really cool. They're doing like a honey senpai type deal. But I love this guy, Lilia. I would definitely run him in a deck if I were to play this game. But the CX card looks amazing. I love this little hot stamping here. Dias Omnia over here, which is like the house of this place, which is twisted from Sleeping Beauty. Heart Civil Gathering. So this is like the heart house over here, twisted from Alice in Wonderland. Again, I'm not really sure how the lore works here. I don't think they're like descendants of the Queen of Hearts or whatever, but they look cool. So that's really all that matters, right? We just need a bunch of hot anime boys and we've got a nice Y Schwartz set. Ignahide Gathering, the two lads from the Hades house. I've noticed that a lot of the houses, like some houses only have like two people, other houses have like five people. So like, I, I think that's kind of funny how it's kind of unbalanced in that way. I think they might have to fix it, but there are a lot of characters to go around. Um, so the, there's more than enough anime boys in this franchise. I'm sure you'll find one that fits your <laughs> preference. <laughs> Pretty cool. For the shiny, so I guess there's definitely at least one shiny per pack, which is nice. This last name is Azul Ashen Grotto, twisted from The Little Mermaid. So this house is based off Ursula from The Little Mermaid or whatever the main villain from that is called. And then we got the King of Hearts over here. Oof, we got a card with Lilia. Nice, a full card dedicated to my boy over here. I'm gonna put this. Oh, and a shiny Lilia. There we go. That's so cool. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna frame this one, chat. I love this so much. I don't even that. I'm, I'm, I'm a big fake fan of Twisted Wonderland. I've only played through like maybe like the prologue of the game, but this guy, I, as soon as I saw him, I immediately felt drawn to Lilia over here. He looks so cool, and I'm glad we got a shiny of him. He looks amazing. You know what I'm gonna do? I want to I want to look up the effect of this card because I know these cards are supposed to be powered down, but I'm not sure exactly how powered down it is supposed to be. So this is a level zero costing zero, and it looks like it has a couple effects here. So I want to check this out. Unlike Y Schwartz proper, there's no like website to go to that has all these cards translated like heart of the cards or anything like that. I guess because no one cares about actually playing with these cards. Unlike Y Schwartz where you do have people who do play the game. So I'm going to have to use good old Google Translate with the camera. So it looks like this Lilia has the effect uh, give all your other twist characters plus 500 powers. So it's the global 500 for all your twist characters. I'm assuming like all these characters have the twist trait. It only makes sense, right? It also has the auto ability. At the beginning of your encore step, if there is a CX in the CX farm, <laughs> the CX farm, you can peel it off. <laughs> then you choose a card in your hand and uh, I, don't, I don't think I got the right translation here chat Okay, I got I got I got a better translation So auto at the beginning of your encore step if there is a CX in the CX field You may draw one card then you choose a card in your hand and play it Can't really rely on these Google translate effects now. I'm also curious what the level one does You may pay the cost to place an automatic hand card in your waiting room that gives the following ability to all your other 
Sebastian Birthday Malleus and Malleus Draconia cards. Okay, I don't think I have any hope of actually translating these cards. I'm gonna keep these Lilias over here. I'm so glad we got some good Lilia cards pulled from these packs, lads. Let's see if we can find some more. Octavian L Gathering. So all the lads from the Little Mermaid. Nice CX card. We got the Emblem of Hearts and Lavalier. I cannot pronounce that, but I tried my best. And another birthday boy over here. I think from the same house as Lilia. Emblem of Scarabia. For the shiny, we got one of, I guess, the Queen of Diamonds, level two. The Emblem of Diasomnia. I think there are like seven emblems in total. Seven different houses, if you will. Each based off a different Disney property. Another Octavia boy over here. For the shiny, we have a level zero Appel Felmir from the Snow White clan. Oh, I, like, I really like this guy too. I like his hair. We got the Seven Claw gathering, all of the Lion King lads. Oh, we got another emblem, the emblem of Octonville. See if we can pull all the emblems. I hope we can. Level three Azul Ashen Grotto. For the shiny, we got a level zero. Another lad from the Maleficent house buddies and Pomfior gathering very cool we got the king of clubs another lad from the seven claw and for the last shiny this dude is ace trapola from the alice in wonderland clan for the last is shiny is a level two to vil shunheit very cool oh we did not get all of the emblems lads which one are we missing Nine. We're missing two. We don't have Pomfior or Seven Claw. Still, that's kind of a lot. I wonder what these emblems actually do, though. If y'all will indulge me for a second, I would love to kind of look through the card effects because I feel like a lot of people unbox these and kind of talk about them and talk about why shorts blow versus why shorts, but no one actually looks into what these card effects are. And I don't blame them because it's kind of hard to kind of figure out what the card effects do, but maybe we can suss out what some of these cards actually do. I won't go through all of them. We're going to go through the ones that kind of stand out to me. I'm curious what these emblems do though, because these are like event cards. So I'm just going to look at the, uh, Diasomnia card. This card can't be played from hand if you have one or less twist characters. You draw up to two cards, choose two cards from your hand, place them in your waiting room. You choose one of your characters and that character gets plus 1500 power for the duration of the turn. So it boosts the character to 1500 and you get to draw two and discard two. So kind of sculpt your hand further. Very simple effect. Oh, uh, that's pretty cool. And I'm going to scan another one just to see if they all have that same effect. Let's try Scarabio. The Scarabio one says it cannot be played from your hand unless you have a twist character. And it says you may draw one card, then choose one card in your hand, place it into your waiting room, place this card in your stock. Now, I did want to check out some of the climax combos here because I do notice that even though this is uh, a much simpler Y Schwartz, there are still CX combos, which makes sense. That's like the signature move of Y Schwartz. It says automatic CX combo. When this card's battle opponent uh, turns, I assume that means reverses. So I guess if you have the card Asomia East in your CX zone, you can select one twist character from your waiting room, choose it, put it in your stock area, and choose one of your characters. And for that turn, gets 3000 power. So for the CX combo, this card essentially has to kill one of your opponent's cards, and then it can choose a card in your graveyard, put it into the stock, and another one of your cards on your field gets 3,000 attack for the turn. That's pretty cool. Let's look at one more CX combo here. I think this is the card that it combos with. I'm not 100% on that. So for the first effect, that's not the CX combo. We got if this card is in the front row, all of your twist characters will have power automatic 1500. So I guess it increases the power of all front row characters by 1500 points. And for the CX combo, when Octavenir is placed in your CX area, if this card is in the front row, you may put the top card of your clock into your waiting room. That's kind of wild because I noticed a lot of the other level 3 monster cards in Y Schwartz. When you play them, they just automatically heal one from your clock. But I guess in this game, uh, that would just be way too powerful to just heal one for free. So you can't just play the card and heal for free. You have to do a CX combo rigmarole here. Very cool. We got some nice shinies here. 
again Lilia just stole the show for me he is just absolutely amazing let me know in the comments below what you think of why Schwartz blau do you think it's cool do you think it's lame like i keep saying throughout the video the artwork for these cards are just absolutely gorgeous like i guess this game has the advantage of having a bunch of high res illustrations from the actual mobile game whereas with a lot of Y Schwartz sets especially older sets they tend to heavily rely on just screenshots from the anime themselves and you know stills from animation they're, they're they tend to be a lot less detailed because they're meant to be animated and move around and then there's too much detail then it's harder to animate but that also means that if you take screenshots from a cartoon you know you might get some lackluster art and that's not to say that Y Schwartz doesn't have good art it, it does it, I mean even screenshots I think look gorgeous in this like in this full art card aesthetic here I think it usually looks great but you know you get some cards like this that just don't look that cool um whereas all these cards, at least I haven't seen any cards in this set that look like duds to me. They all look really beautiful and look like they're meant to be on a card, which looks really nice. I'm also in favor of more hot anime boys in Y Schwartz itself. Give us some actual Y Schwartz sets, actual Y Schwartz proper sets with uh, more artwork like this. I would love to see that, lads. Maybe in the future I'll do a video on actual gameplay with Y Schwartz Blau decks just to see how they function. I think it'd be cool to see. Although translating the cards is definitely difficult. I might have to ask someone who actually speaks Japanese to help me out with these card translations. Thanks so much for checking out the content.